Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ziggy, and today we are playing The Punisher. Welcome back to the Gore Game Saga. Let's get into Special it. Interrogation. Gore in this game directly relates and works with the story. You see, most gore in this game comes from special kills or not that you can do called can't interrogations. Interrogations are basically holding the enemy and choking, beating, or threatening them until they break and giving the Punisher the information he needs. Now there are special interrogations which just, interact with I the environment the where the Punisher still gets no. information out, but if you want to kill them, you can do it in a special way. Like I said, interrogations can lead to two outcomes. One, the enemy gives you the information and helps you in some way. Oh For instance, I, just, uh, dude, I got the strap of C4 it? on a some dude. Or two, here? the one I like to choose. You can get the information by brutally murdering the enemy. Now this game is told Welcome mainly to in a bunch of flashbacks while Punisher is being held in like Riker it? Island. Let's get I'm into it. It starts off with the Punisher walking down the street. He needs to clean up the crime of New York City. When suddenly, a man gets chucked out a window of a crack house. The, the people Punisher. decide to uh, oh, tell the Punisher to come get them. So. Surprise, surprise, that wasn't a good yeah, idea. Yes. You go through the whole level, shooting, blah blah blah, killing people. You know, the whole nine yards. When you finally get to the leader and, you know, interrogate. When you finally get to the leader of the crack house, you can do one to two things. Interrogate the leader and let him live. Or drop him from the top of the building. Being the absolute unit of a superhero, I decided to let gravity speak for the actions of the crack house leader. On the way out of the crack house, a car almost runs over the Punisher. Luckily, he avoids it in time and easily somehow catches a glimpse at the license plate. He then proceeds to track down the car to, surprise, surprise, a chop shop. This then leads into the second level of the game, where the Punisher proceeds to put a stop to the chop shop's operations, entering like an absolute jigachad by crashing his car through one of the garage doors. Now, this has one of my all-time favorite special interrogation kills, where he puts a drill bit through someone's skull. We then find out that the chop shop is just one of the Gnucci's multiple operations. The Punisher being the Punisher says, fuck the Gnucci's, I'm gonna fuck up their operation. These levels I should mention are huge. This one for instance featured a chop shop, a junkyard, and some offices. Once we defeat the final boss, I like to call him some shit Gnucci, at the end of this level, we drop one of the Gnucci's lieutenants into a compactor. Oh my god, what the fuck? Did anyone order a scum sandwich? The next level is really a mini level where we take out Bobby Gnucci in a bar. It was basically one of, if not the shortest level in the entire game. We just wipe out an entire bar room full of Gnucci's. And then when we continue on to the next level, we find out that our neighbor, Joan, has been kidnapped by a hired mercenary known as Bushwhacker. We kill his men and save Joan from being drowned to death. This level had my second favorite gory kill where we put a man up to a rhinoceros cage and he proceeded to get a horn into his gut. We save our neighbor Joan by interrogating a man, then bam shabam, we were on to the next level where we decide to take a little detour and stop at Bobby Gnucci's funeral. The Punisher being the Punisher decides that he would look better inside of the casket and when they open up to do reception, he murders a crowd full of Gnucci's. We then proceed to take out more of um, the Gnucci's, I guess. We, uh, we kill Bushwhacker, we kill Ma, and then we track down one of their operations to Pier 74, where we get another cool kill. Now in Pier 74, we get two very gory kills. I'm going to start avoiding the story now just to go into the gory kills because they kind of pick up for a little bit. Um, one of them we uh, start in p one of them we start a plane prop like the, the rotor and we proceed to put someone's face against it to interrogate them. Very humane Mr. Punisher. And then another one we put a dude on a table with a, uh, a saw a table saw and uh well, let's just say, uh, he ain't gonna be walking after that. We then 
meet up with Black Widow, which is pretty surprising. I didn't know Black Widow was in this game. It, it kind of goes into, like, endgame kind of stuff now. It's more, you know, shooting, 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 not a lot of story. We somehow stop a nuke from going off. We uh, interrogate a dude by pushing him into the flame of a nuke and then nuking that island that the nuke was going to launch from. Very, very interesting. Uh, also, on this uh, nuke level, we get a sniper rifle, which is pretty funny because for a game that came out in 2004, uh, if you shoot off the arm of one of the dudes, he runs around and then drops dead, which is pretty interesting if I do say so myself. So now we're coming up on the last levels. We start to fight, um, we go to fight Kingpin, but uh, it turns out Kingpin isn't the dude he's been sending out mercenaries such as the the big brawly russian dude that broke into our apartment and whose head we shoved inside a tv you know, don't worry he's he's also dead we killed him at the nuke island but yeah it's uh, it's been ziggy with the gory game saga and if you guys all did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see you guys in the next video peace